Today we're going to be making all natural bath bombs or bath fizzies. These are very similar to the ones you'll find at Lush or um, similar places. Uh, I don't use any fragrance. I use all natural ingredients in this recipe so you'll be safe with what you're using. Start with one cup of citric acid. Don't buy the stuff at the grocery store. Go buy real pure citric acid and this is uh, a cup of baking soda and then a quarter cup of um, cornstarch and a quarter cup of good pure Epsom salts. You can actually add extra Epsom salts in the forming stage later on. I'll talk to you about that in just a minute. Now that the dry ingredients are together, we're going to mix them thoroughly um, with just with my kitchen spoon and just make sure or you could use a whisk if you wanted to. If you're uh, adding colorant, they make a dry powdered colorant. You could add it um, at this time. If you want to keep it all natural, you want to look for vegetable based colorants um, like beet or um, there's, there's actually quite a few um, colorants that are vegetable based that are safe to use. Uh, I don't use them because I don't like to clean them out of my jetted tub and I don't like um, the extra step of having to clean every time I've used a bath bomb. So I use all pure ingredients and I keep them nice and bright and white. Now we're going to add the liquid ingredients. I have melted coconut oil and I'm using my Young Living Lavender. I only use Young Living essential oils because I know where they came from and I know they're completely safe. So lavender and vanilla are in this recipe. You could use um, eucalyptus, you can use pan away, stress away makes a wonderful one. So 10 drops of the essential oil and the essential oil and the coconut oil mix together very easily. You can't even tell where one begins and the other ends, but when I add my pure, co uh, my pure extract of vanilla, it does not like to blend with the oil and you can see they sort of separate and um, even though I mix it kind of makes little beads and it does not mix to together well and that's okay it'll still work out in the bath uh, fizzy at the end. Now you don't want to dump your liquids dire directly into your dry ingredients and if you've ever made bath fizzies before you know why because they fizz up immediately and you've lost all your fizz before you ever make it to your tub. So you want to pour very slowly and you can see I'm stirring and I do just a little bit at a time. You can also pour slowly against the edge of the bowl which you'll see I'll do in a minute or actually make a little hole and pour slowly um, where you're not hitting directly on the, the dry ingredients and stir, 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 stir. You eventually should have a mixture that feels like wet sand um, and you'll know um, you've got it just right. It'll feel like it'll look kind of dry, but you can put your hand in there and it'll make a nice um, ball. So we're just going to keep stirring and gradually um, incorporating the liquid into the dry. And if you look at my bowl there on the counter, you can see that I have mostly vanilla extract left and not a lot of my coconut oil and essential oil. And that's just because the two aren't best friends and don't mix real well. Um, in, uh, when they're together, but they do great once they hit the dry ingredients. So we'll just keep adding a little, and you can see there I'm adding more against the bowl and then incorporating in my dry ingredients. If you've ever mixed in egg whites into something, it's sort of the same, same way you want to mix a little at a time and um, slowly incorporate it. And we're almost through. I kind of get impatient at the end and dump it, but I dump it against the bowl into a little well where it's not hitting much of the dry ingredients. And now you can see um, the brownness a little bit incorporating in, but really that's so small, such a small amount that the bath fizzy still stays nice and white. <coughs> and it's sticking together my spoon, which means we're pr pretty well close. I always have to get in and mix it with my hands, and here you can see the consistency. It feels actually really nice. And if you wanted to, you could keep it just like this in a very airtight jar and sprinkle it into your tub instead of making a bath bomb and that actually works just fine. And then you can just make it go right across. Now we're making it into the little bombs or the little balls and I this is my favorite ice cream scoop. I actually use it for cookies all the time and it makes a really nice little fast um, way to make a to make a bath ball. And I'm going to make a couple using my little ice cream scoop and it, you can pat them into place if they don't stay together just right. So we're going to make a couple with this. 
Another thing you can do is just hand form um, into balls. It works really well and you can make them as big as or as small as you want. You can buy the little bath bomb cups where you fill each side, press them together and then pull them apart. Um, if you're hand forming or using the cups, you can um, fill, kind of fill the inner lining of the cup and leave a hole and put extra Epsom salts in the hole and then pack it around it so you actually have like, um, you have even more Epsom salt in your bath if you're wanting a more, um, uh, a bath with more magnesium or things for um, your immune system or sore muscles or that sort of thing. This is a little silicone mold that I use for candy making, but it works perfectly for this. They make a nice little disc. I also use, this is the same mold I use when I'm making dishwasher pods or my toilet bath bombs. And I actually have uh, those recipes on my blog, which there is a link in the description below that you can um, find that information also. So this makes a really easy, simple, I normally lay it flat on the counter and press them in. It just works easier, but because of the camera angle, I lifted it up to make it a little easier for you, for you to see. So just press them in nice and firm. You can brush off the excess and then just pop them right back out. I'm just popping this all onto parchment paper. Um, you don't want to let your mixture get too dry or it won't um, stick together well so you kind of have to work quickly when you're forming into your balls and that's why I don't make huge batches at a time. If you wanted to do rainbow colored um, this is when you would do add m multiple colors. So these are hand formed balls. These are the little discs in the silicon mold and at the beginning you could see the different um, the three different kinds. So click in below if you want to get your own essential oils. Thanks!